hello everyone so another video today i am talking about facebook ads and um, why i'm doing this and recording this video is because i'm about to launch a campaign and i thought maybe it would be cool to show you how i am doing this now i am not a facebook expert at all so if you are thinking that you're gonna be a facebook expert after watching this video probably not and uh, I would suggest there's tons of videos on YouTube. You should check them out. Uh, Miles Beckler comes to mind who is really great with Facebook ads. I am just, as a course creator, I am kind of just like throwing spaghetti on the wall to see what sticks. And I'm about to create a Facebook campaign. And I want to show you how I'm doing it from the very limited knowledge that I have about Facebook ads. So first thing I did, I went to my ads manager and I created a campaign. And the campaign uh, objective I've chosen is video views. And I didn't do a create a split test, but I did a daily budget of 10 bucks. And I did CBO, also known as campaign budget optimization. This way, Facebook optimizes the budget based on how many users are online at any given point of time and a million other uh, factors that I have no clue about. So I'm just going to let uh, Facebook's machine algorithm do the work for me. So now the next step is to create an audience. And this is where uh, I want to define who my audience is. So you probably already are familiar with this step. If not, uh, you can kind of watch me uh, kind of watch over my shoulder and see how I'm doing it. So custom audience, I don't have a custom audience right now. So I'm just going to create a new one. So I can either create a new custom audience or lookalike audience. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to skip this part. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say anyone who lives in the US between 18 to 65. Now that's a broad range of people, right? So you can see up here, it's 230 million people. Obviously, if you're targeting everyone, you are targeting no one. So now we're going to narrow down the targeting a bit. And what I'm going to say is, and I only want for location, I am only doing US, but you can easily add here United Kingdom, but due to GDPR and whatnot, I'm just not sure what I can and cannot do. So I just, I just want to stick to you. And that's where I live. So languages, English, uh, you can enter that if you want. I'm going to leave that blank. Now here is where you're going to narrow down your targeting. So there are three layers to Facebook ads. First is the campaign level as a whole. Sorry, I'm hitting the mic here. Let me move this back a bit. So first, there's the whole campaign level right here. Under that campaign lives the ad set and you can have multiple ad sets and within each ad set, you can have an ad. So I'm only going to do one ad set and one ad and one campaign. Uh, probably not the best approach. Again, I'm not a professional. I'm, I don't do this for a living. So if you're looking for a professional opinion, don't use mine. Go with someone who knows this and does this for a living. So let's, uh, for the demographic, I want to target people who are teaching online courses. So they probably like things like Udemy, right? So someone who's interested in Udemy, I'm going to select that as an interest. And as I do, you'll see this narrows down a bit. Uh, same thing, they're going to probably use Teachable. Uh, that's not an option. Let's try Thinkific. Not an option either. How about Kajabi? Nope, uh, only three people like Kajabi. So I have selected Udemy for now. And what I'm going to do is hit on suggestions. And you'll see all the suggestions that Facebook is giving you based on the interest that you have chosen. So I'm going to select Coursera. That's fine. Online learning community sounds good. Uh, let's see. Let's see what other options we have. I don't want to put things that are too ambiguous and might not be my target audience. So keep that in mind when you are looking for what to put here is make sure it's something that resonates with your audience. So online learning community, Udemy, Coursera. These are, uh, so let's also search for online courses. All right. Another thing I can do is target people who are already targeting users that I want. So for example, Amy Porterfield. So I can look for Amy Porterfield and select her now my suggestions are going to change so if i just maybe remove all this right and i go back to suggestions after having amy porterfield in here i'm going to have a bunch of other suggestions and this might be more useful to me so i can select murray forleo gary vaynerchuk uh, tony robbins these are all people who people like me follow course creators so I know for a fact that I follow them. So I'm hoping that other course creators follow them too. Personal development, Brendan Bouchard. So I, I can select multiple suggestions that Facebook is giving me here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video, make a few suggestions or click on a few suggestions and add them to my list here of people that I want to target. And then I'll be right back. All right. So I've added a bunch of people here and my potential reach is 65 million still. And I would like to narrow it down. So I'm going to say Tony Robbins because he's kind of 
I'm not sure people who are interested in Tony Robbins are necessarily interested in creating online courses. So now what you can do is you can exclude uh, narrow this further, right? So I'm going to say narrow audience. And here, what I can tell Facebook is look for everyone who's interested in this and is also interested in something else. Uh, so it can be show me everyone who's interested in this and Udemy. And that will narrow it down from 63 million to like a million. So this is a great way to narrow your audience down. Uh, and I just want to show this to you. I'm going to remove the narrowing uh, factor for now and leave it broad. And what I can do is after a couple of days, I can see what kind of people are signing up for my webinar. That's kind of like the whole goal of this video or for my Facebook ad is to get people to sign up for my webinar where I'm promoting new Zendler, which is the platform I am using to build my online courses. I want to show other people how they can use it as well. You can add connection types, people who have liked certain pages, etc. You can try detailed targeting expansion. Uh, no, I'm not interested right now. Uh, you can also save this audience and then placements. You can do automatic placements. And then because this is a video ad, these are your couple of options here. All right. So I've read through my options here. One is through play and one is two second continuous video views for my particular use case through play sounds like the option that I'm going to select which means that they're going to try to show my video to people who are most likely to play a 15 second video but if my video is longer than 15 seconds they will at least play 15 seconds if not more and my video is long it's 30 uh, three minutes so I'm going to select that option and then here I'm going to run my ad continuously. Actually, my end date is uh, the date of the webinar is October 10th. So I'm going to end this at let's say 10 a.m. Eastern because the webinar is at 2 p.m. 10 a.m. Eastern and then through play is the option I'm going to select and then I'm going to hit continue. So my ad set is done. My campaign is done and now I am on the ad level here. I have to pick which Facebook page I'm promoting and also which Instagram account. So I already have those two picked and then I'm going to upload a single video here. Um, so I'm going to upload a video here and I've already have the video selected or created I should say and I created it using this software called InVideo which if you're part of my bonus program and you have bought a uh, new Zendler through my affiliate link, you already have access to six months of their premium plan. So I'm going to quickly pause this video up so that I can upload my video to Facebook and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have uploaded the video which was uh, using the upload button here. You can change how your ad looks and feels on different placements. So I can select where I want to place this video. So in Instagram, you can only do up to 120 seconds. So I obviously cannot do that. So I'm going to select Facebook newsfeed. And then once you select that, it's going to open up this box. That's going to show you what it'll look like within the Facebook newsfeed. So here's what it's going to look like on mobile, which is probably 90% users that are going to be in the, on the mobile platform. Here's kind of like the text I put in there. And what I want to point out here is I'm calling out people in my first line. So you're scrolling, you see this video, you stop and the first line is should be a self-qualifying line, right? So are you using Teachable, Thinkific, Kajabi or Udemy to create online courses? If you're one of those people, then I want to talk to you. If not, keep scrolling so you don't cost me ad money and I don't waste your time. And that's kind of like the idea of when you're creating these ads is talk to your target audience, create that they want to self-check themselves that, okay, I fall into one of these buckets. So this might be something I want to look at. Uh, so that's kind of like the main uh, call it text here. Then I have a headline here. If the headline might not show on every uh, device, but I do have it here. And then the link to so the link to my website goes here. And then here's the full URL and then the display URL can be optional, but I am going to leave it as is. And then once you have done this, you just hit the save button. So here's my headline, here's the link, and then I just hit save. Now I did see an error here. Okay, description is optional because it doesn't show on all devices. So I'm not going to bother with description at all. And then I've uh, activated my Facebook pixel here. Offline events, I'm not tracking any offline events, but this I can't seem to uncheck. And then that's pretty much it. Now, you, if you wanted URL parameters, you can put those in there. I'm not putting any URL parameters in here. Uh, what I would suggest you do is to have a link in here that's trackable. So my link currently won't be trackable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my WordPress dashboard, go to a plugin called Pretty Link and create a new link in this link view right now. All right. So I'm going to create the link for the target URL and then 
just call it webinar and publish this and then I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this URL okay this one is already taken webinar sign up so then I'm going to copy this URL and paste that in my Facebook ad that way I can track it and I can see how many people have clicked on it so for example here's one which has had 12 clicks here's one which has had 92 clicks 40 clicks so on and so forth so you want something that you can track right otherwise it's useless if you're not able to track and attribute where this lead is coming from so I'm gonna go back up here make sure this is looking correct all right so I think we are good here I've added uh, my video I've added some text I've added the webinar sign up link now the next step is to obviously make sure that when people go to that site that you have it all connected on the back end to your email service provider and your webinar page so when it's the day of the webinar your users are going to start uh, be able to go to you see your webinar and also have a link which they should know where they're gonna go and see it I am conducting my webinar on just YouTube live I didn't want to spend money on a webinar platform without knowing if people are really gonna show up so if my first webinar is successful I will then invest money on a webinar platform uh, but for now I'm going to stick to YouTube live because it's free so here now all I need to do is hit confirm and then once I have hit confirmed uh, this goes through a review process through uh, from the Facebook team if this is your first time doing it if not usually it gets approved uh, within like a few minutes so right now it's being published and then it should get approved soon and then stay tuned I might make a second video on how my ad performed so I have a budget of $10 a day till October 10th and that's when the ads are going to end today is October 2nd so I'm I have a week it's about 70 to 80 bucks and we'll see what happens thank you so much for watching I hope you got a lot out of it don't forget to hit the comment like subscribe and I will see you on the flip side take care